Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I got an awesome Silver Age book. So I bought a raw book on Instagram. I don't normally like doing that. I also like, always like to see raw books in person. And if I'm buying like a major Silver Age key like this, I usually buy them already encapsulated and graded. So I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different with this video. I'm gonna show you guys the close-ups show you guys the defects of what I'm seeing, the front and the back, and some of the internal pages, and I want you guys to try to grade the book. I'll give you a minute to kind of get your grade prediction, and then I will reveal what the sellers graded this book at to see if we're on the same page or wh whether they were way off. This was sold through Elite Comics. Um, the seller for this book was dig auctions or dig auctions i don't know how that that's said but um i'm not thrilled with the speed of how this was sent um they kept kind of putting it off putting it off as far as getting the invoice but it is shipped it looks like it shipped well and it looks like it did get here safely um they, had, they provided tracking and all that so um so far, so good. Without further ado, let's bust in this box and let's take a look at the Silver Age Major Key Raw Book close up. All right, I've never seen a shipper like this before. I'm pretty impressed by this. Um, nice little invoice tucked in there. Everything was very professional as far as uh, the communication. It just took a little bit. Okay, major issue right off the bat here. They didn't use painter's tape, so I'm gonna have to put the scissors or a blade like in into here, which I'm not loving. All right, guys, so this is Avengers number 57. This is the first appearance of Vision. Um, this is a book that's been on my radar for a while. It's kind of an undervalued key. So I'm gonna tell you guys how much I paid for this to give you all the information possible so that you guys can make the right grade prediction. Um, I paid $325 for this book with $5 additional shipping. They were asking for $400 and I made an offer of 275, they countered for 325. I can't believe they actually did this deal. The recent sales of this book um, are significantly higher than this, $100 more I'm seeing in, in this condition. There's another hint there. Um, so I don't, I don't know, like somebody might've messed up, whether they're trying to like get rid of books quick, I don't know, but Let's take a closer look at this book and let's see what the condition is. All right, right off the bat, this book presents extremely well. Um, they said that there was a uh, there was some tape glue, some tape residue on the top of the book, which I'm seeing that. It literally looks like a piece of scotch tape was placed there. This book has not been pressed, but it's extremely flat. Uh, this is a book from... I think 1968 so I mean this is firmly in that Silver Age well yeah it's kind of right on the cusp there between the Silver Age and the Bronze Age the back of this book has not been cleaned wow this is a sharp this is a sharp looking book the corners look really good this is a kind of a tougher book because uh, there's black on the spine and then there's black in the top right hand corner Great book here because Vision's on the cover. Um, kind of a little bit of a, not of a miswrap, but just kind of a, a little bit of a roll there where the staples are. Let's take a look at the internal pages. They look nice. I'd say these pages are probably off-white to white. And then let's take a look at the centerfold. Centerfold is perfect, intact. This is a really nice copy of this book. All right, guys, um, you can kind of see the gloss on the book. 
Um, I mean, as far as spine ticks, I mean, there's not... I mean, I see no color-breaking ticks on on the actual color of the book. I mean, there's some general wear. I mean, the corners are slightly blunted. I mean, they don't come to a point. But for a Silver Age book, I mean, come on. All right, guys. I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds here. Give you guys a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and say your predictions here. They have this book graded at a 6.5 off-white pages. And then the notes that they put on there is the tape residue on the top of the book. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I think they're pretty close. Um, I, don't, I don't think that this could get higher than a 7.5. I think that would be the absolute highest. And that's like if the grader is feeling frisky. But I'm interested to see how this book is going to look after I clean the back of it and then I press out um, a couple of these issues on the front of the book. I think those are pressable. So I think it's I think it's a very, very good possibility that the condition of this book could improve. What do you guys think? I think this is a very good price point for this book. Um, as far as getting it graded, I don't know. I've, I've kind of got like a stack of books now ready to be graded but i just haven't pulled the trigger and i don't really want to spend the money right now i'm just keeping my nice silver and bronze age books raw for the ones i've been kind of buying recently um this is a book that i think can continue to have uh, some growth as far as value because we're going to see more vision we're going to see uh, more Wanda, um, and then obviously Wanda and Vis Vision's children, Billy and Tommy, Wiccan and Speed. I've already, I've already said um, the Young Avengers is the future of the MCU, so I think, I mean, we're going to see more Vision. And also Vision is also in the Young Avengers in his kind of alternate form. Guys, what do you think about this book? Do you have this book in your collection? Let me know. If any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.